Hi, my name is Erin Stubblefield, and I'm a physician assistant currently working at Bay Area Gastroenterology under the supervision of Dr. Jaffrey. Today I will be speaking with you about hemorrhoids and a new method of treatment that we are implementing here in our practice. It is estimated that approximately 50% of Americans over the age of 50 experience symptoms related to hemorrhoids. Furthermore, hemorrhoids will likely affect 75% of the population at some point throughout their lifetime. Hemorrhoids are a very common problem, but many times individuals are hesitant to admit to symptoms related to their hemorrhoids. However, through lifestyle modifications and a simple in-office banding procedure now available at Bay Area Gastroenterology, these symptoms can easily be managed and in most cases even eliminated. So, what are hemorrhoids? They are actually normal anatomical structures that aid in continence and have protective features. They are cushions of tissue located in the rectum and are composed of fibrous and vascular tissue anchored to underlying muscle tissue. Everyone has three separate columns of this tissue. Hemorrhoids are divided into two types. Internal, which are above the area of nerve endings, meaning they do not cause pain and external, which are below the area of nerve endings, meaning they can cause pain. Over time, this tissue can weaken, become fibrotic, and begin to prolapse or slide down into the rectum. This is what ultimately leads to symptoms. This is demonstrated here in this diagram. This shows the two types of hemorrhoids. This is the internal hemorrhoid plexus, which is here prolapsing or sliding down into the rectum, and this is a diagram of an external hemorrhoid. So who is at risk for developing hemorrhoids and symptoms related to hemorrhoids? Those between the ages of 45 and 65 seem to have the highest incidence. Those who suffer from chronic constipation and have inadequate fiber and fluid intake, obesity, pregnancy, sedentary lifestyle, and prolonged sitting on the toilet and straining have all been shown to predispose to hemorrhoid development. What are some of the common symptoms of hemorrhoids? These include itching, which is usually due to mucus deposits on the perianal skin, bleeding, swelling, prolapse of the tissue, and potential fecal leakage or soiling due to prolapsed tissue interfering with the anal closure. Ultimately, symptoms generally occur as a result of underlying prolapse. What are some treatment options currently available for hemorrhoids? One option is conservative medical management, which is primarily focused at lifestyle modifications to prevent constipation and straining. These include high fiber diet and the use of fiber supplements, adequate fluid intake consisting of seven to eight glasses per day, limiting toilet sitting time to two minutes or less, and utilizing topical corticosteroid treatments. There are surgical treatments, such as hemorrhoidectomy, which are generally reserved for the most severe cases. There are also non-surgical treatments, uh, several of which are available here at Bay Area Gastroenterology. This includes rubber band ligation, which is the most frequently used and recommended, infrared coagulation, and sclerotherapy. Some indications for banding uh, include recurrent, mild to severe symptoms such as prolapse, bleeding, itching, and irritation, or quote-unquote incontinence despite the normal sphincter function, as this is usually due to prolapsing tissue rather than true incontinence. Patients with external symptoms may also benefit from uh, internal hemorrhoid banding as it has been shown that 90% of symptoms will improve or resolve after internal banding. Uh, the process of banding involves applying a small rubber band to the base of the internal hemorrhoid tissue, which is the area above the area of nerve endings, in order to cut off blood supply. Within two to five days, the band and tissue will slough off naturally on its own and will cause the hemorrhoid tissue to scar back into place therefore eliminating prolapse of tissue. Bay Area Gastroenterology is currently utilizing the CRH O'Regan system in the outpatient setting for internal hemorrhoid banding. It is fast, generally taking less than one minute to apply the band, painless, and does not require a bowel prep or sedation. 
The CRH O-Reagan system is 99.1% effective in eliminating symptoms with a low recurrence rate comparable to surgical options. The complication rate is lower than both traditional rubber band ligation techniques and surgical management. Most common complications include post-procedural bleeding and pain. However, these complications occur in less than 1% of individuals. I'd like to take just a second to actually show you the tool that's used in the banding process. As you can see, there's a little ridge here, and this is the depth at which the tool is inserted into the rectum, so only about two inches. What occurs is the tool is inserted into the rectum and then directed at the column desired for treatment. Um, once directed in the appropriate position, the plunger is then used to aspirate tissue into the tube. Once the tissue is aspirated and we ensure that you're not experiencing any pain, this inner sheath is then released and this deploys the band over the internal tissue cutting off blood supply. This procedure is very quick, usually taking less than one minute. In summary, as discussed, hemorrhoids are an extremely common problem within the general American population. While lifestyle factors such as avoiding constipation and straining and ensuring adequate fiber and water intake are important, Many times conservative treatment is not enough to eliminate the symptoms. If you are experiencing issues such as tissue prolapse leading to itching, bleeding, swelling, and fecal leakage, we urge you to speak with your Bay Area Gastroenterology Healthcare provider to discuss specifics regarding the CRH O'Regan system to determine if it is an appropriate option for your condition.